in the gentle morning light, I walk. This morning I'm feeling rather heavy, weighed down by overwhelm. I'm going through a big change. What some might call a little death. But soon curiosity comes in and distracts me from my thoughts, showing me little wonders. I look down and spot a wanderer resting on the grass, drinking in the sun, the butterfly moves ever so slightly. There's nothing better than taking rest outdoors. And as I watch the butterfly, I find myself imagining what life will be like once the storm has passed. And I remind myself that all I need to do right now is find a little bit of faith and hope and no matter what comes, I will be strong enough to move forward. Well, the chaos has begun, Wonder Weavers. There are mounds and mountains of books everywhere. It's a mess. I'm tired, but I'm still going. I'm still uh, gathering my strength, and uh, I have to confess, I'm uh, mentally, I'm going through a lot. It's been quite a difficult week. I've had lots of negative and heavy feelings and thoughts come up. And all I can say is thank goodness for wonder walking. Thank goodness for nature. My wonder walks help me focus and show me what is essential and what is really important. And I'm really grateful for this practice but I'm also incredibly grateful to have a loving and supporting family and in particular my partner has been incredible. So there's lots to be grateful for and I also know that this moment will pass. So a few more weeks I think and then I can look forward to laying a new foundation I look forward to sharing what's on the other side of this, Wonder Weavers, but uh, I want to thank you too for your encouraging words and support. I really do appreciate it. In the meanwhile, I had a bit of a play and I made for the first time uh, furniture polish for the dollhouse. So I look forward to sharing uh, with you uh, how I made it. And uh, I also sat down for a little while and made mini lavender flowers. So I hope that you enjoy this little creative adventure, Wonder Weavers, and please share with me how are your projects going. Uh, I always love reading your stories and you can share with me uh, in the comments below. And like I said, you're always welcome to email me. All of my details are in the description. Work continues downstairs in the dollhouse. 
Over the past several weeks I've been making skirting boards from craft sticks and then fitting them. I've also been using the craft sticks as panels to decorate the walls of the pantry and the kitchen. As I glue the skirting boards and the panels into place, I find myself pondering how am I going to polish them? As you may have noticed Wonder Weavers, the items I've recently made and the floors I've stained lack luster. So after a little bit of research, I decided to make my own dollhouse furniture polish with beeswax. Since this is my first time making polish, I thought I would only make a small quantity. To make the polish, I'm going to use beeswax, olive oil, and lavender essential oil. I first chop up about a tablespoon of beeswax. I put the beeswax into a glass measuring jug and then I add two tablespoons of olive oil. I then bathe the jug in a saucepan full of water and on a low heat I melt the mixture. This took me only a couple of minutes. And once it's completely melted, I remove it from the heat. Then add five drops of lavender essential oil. I mix the mixture and then pour it into a little container. I allow the polish to cool and set. Before I add the polish to furniture, I thought I would test it. I take two craft sticks, one stained with calligraphy ink and the other with wood stain. And I'm happy with the test, so now I will polish a dresser. I scoop a small amount of polish onto a cloth and then coat the dresser. Once I've completely covered it, I leave it for about five to 10 minutes. And then I buff it. And I think the dress has come up well, Wonder Weavers, and I wish you could smell it. Lavender is divine. Lavender is one of my most favourite plants and I've been wanting to try and make French lavender flowers in miniature for some time. So I've decided to do a little bit of a test. For the stems of the flowers I'm going to use copper beading wire. I cut a handful of 4cm lengths first. I then cover the wire with green floral tape. And if you haven't used floral tape before, here's a tip, make sure that you stretch it to activate the adhesive. French lavender stems tend to be lighter in color, 
so to tone down the green floral tape I paint lightly a layer of white acrylic paint. Next I take purple Italian crepe paper and I cut small lengths. These are around four centimeters long and are only about half a centimeter wide. Then I dab dark purple acrylic paint along one edge of the strips. Once completely dry, I cut along one edge of the paper strip, creating a fringe. I then add a light layer of PVA and then starting from the top of the stalk I wrap the strip around it. I gather the flowers and arrange them in a jug. There you go, Wonder Weavers. The flowers are a lovely addition to the dresser. And look! The scent of the flower has put Muff and the Cat to sleep. Thank you for watching Wonder Weavers. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Uh, I am now going to continue sorting boxes. In the meanwhile, Wonder Weavers, take care, stay well, and don't forget to play. Adios. Ciao. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most handsome one of all? Yes, Muffin, it is you. But Muffin, where are my lavender flowers? Oh dear. Well, at least the jug isn't broken.